let's talk a little about complements and substitutes because complements and substitutes can be complicated. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. That's I should have talked about that. Good point. You caught me on a on a mistake. I left that out. Like you you want to know does food go up as a shear of consumption or does it go down? Yeah, and we think of it as an No, necessity. The necessity is going to be a good necessity means your income elasticity is less than one. That means your consumption rises less than proportionately with income. So when your income goes up 10%, consumption only goes up 3%. So if your consumption is only going up 3% and income is going up 10%, what's going to happen to your share? The share of income spent on that good is going to go down. So when the income elasticity is less than one, the good is a necessity, consumption the share of income spent on that good is going to fall as income rises. So food would be a normal good, but a normal necessity. That is, typically we think of food expenditure as rising less than proportionately with income. So food would be a normal good, but it would be a necessity. An inferior good, by definition, is a necessity, because its share clearly has to be going down, because it's, the absolute amount is going down. But there are a lot of goods that are going to be normal and necessities. They go up with income, but go up less than proportion. Okay. Now, a luxury, on the other hand, is going to have its share rise as income rises. Because if income goes up 10%, the luxury is going up 12%. So its share of income is going to go up. Because consumption rose more in proportional terms than income. People see that? Now, of course, these are all done holding prices constant. Right? These are all partial derivatives holding prices constant. So we're increasing income holding prices constant. Yes? So the question, you said the luxury, the share of luxury will go up. That's the average of the, the necessity Yeah, so you have to have, if you have some luxuries, you've got to have some necessities. You can't have everything be a luxury. But if that share is growing, then the, the, the share is, uh, the elasticity is very large. It has to come down at some point. It can't stay, it can't, unless everything's going to get really inferior, it can't keep going. And it won't usually. You might have an income rate. Remember these, don't want to think of these income elasticities as constants. Income elasticities fundamentally are going to vary with the level of income. Right? That is, when I'm poor, and starving, who are probably going to have a pretty high income elasticity? As I get richer, the first thing I want to do is live to tomorrow. And one of the key things to live in tomorrow is eating enough to survive. So I might have a very high income elasticity with respect to food at low income levels. At higher income levels, I really, you know, I'm probably killing myself by eating. Right? I'm probably shortening my life by eating. And in fact, we see as people get richer, in some ways they eat less. On a calorie dimension, for example, they might eat less. They might decide, well, geez, living more, living longer, to consume all these other goods I can afford is worth more. Well, I'm not going to eat so much of this stuff that shortens my life. I mean, there's there's a whole things like that. So yeah, no, you do not want to think of income elasticities as constants, right? It's not like it's like I said before. It's not like Walmart sweaters are inferior for everybody. They're strongly normal goods. For a lot of people that Walmart's counting on to grow their market as 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 incomes in the world expand. Even if they're going to lose share in places where incomes are already high. That's that's fine. I mean that's that's the way the that's the way income elasticities work. They're not the same at all income levels. It's, it's a thing called an angle curve. An angle curve with an E. An angle curve measures how a consumption of a good changes as we change our income. And an angle curve isn't necessarily always upward sloping or always downward sloping. Usually it has some shape to it. 
Elasticity is not always bigger than one or less than one. It can vary from normal to necess I mean, nor from necessities to luxuries and vice versa, and can vary between normal and inferior. Now, broad categories of goods typically are normal, even though they may be necessities. There's nothing that says because it's a broad category, it has to have an income elasticity of one. Even very broad categories can have income elasticities less than one. Food would be a typically good example of that. Many income ranges, food has an income elasticity substantially less than one. Any, any questions that people